It's an eyeshadow primer, but I'm going to use it to basically hold my um, brows in place. Just placing it onto my brows and moving my brows into the direction I want. Um, for the most part, I'm moving them back towards my ears and the front of my brows up towards my hairline. Then I am going to take my ColourPop pencil in the shade black and brown and I'm just going to fill in my brows using that pencil. I really, really love these pencils because they're super cheap and they're super thin. They kind of remind me of like the MAC pencils and Spike and you know those uh, smaller pencils like that. get your brows super super precise now I'm going to take um, my uh, Anastasia dip brow in the shade dark brown and I'm basically going to go on the um, lower side of my brows to kind of outline them and then I'm going to outline the top top side and then fill in basically the um, tail end. Now I'm going to take a little bit of my Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Deep and I am going to um, carve out my brows making sure that they're super super sharp and this brush right here is going to be the Detailer Brush from Real Techniques. I absolutely absolutely positively love this brush for cleaning up my brows as well as um, creating my cut crease. Now I'm going to take my Tarte um, Smoothing Primer and I have been actually really loving this primer. It's not super amazing for, um, you know, the oils in your skin or anything like that, but it does help smooth out your pores for you guys. Um, so if you want an oil control primer to go along with this, I would definitely suggest this. But lately I'm either dry or I'm a little oily, so I just use this one only. But I did use my Mario Badescu Healing Powder, which is good for oils in your skin as well as um, helping with any acne breakouts. So I did use this over top of that um, Tarte Primer just to combat the oils in my skin. But I did apply it all over. And I just use the um, little puff that comes with it inside of the package. And if you want to know about this unit, then hit that little eye to the right of your screen. So basically, this is the start of the show. It's a two orangey, two red Oompa Loompa foundation that I have. And everybody is always grabbing something that is too red or too orange. Mainly because these um, companies just think that black people just only can wear red shades. So we have like almost no choice but to accidentally pick up a red shade. But there is a way to fix it. A way to kind of manipulate the foundation or basically manipulate your ending look of course we don't want to look orange the entire day so this is just my way of fixing or manipulating my ending look with this foundation and if you follow P. Louise and were wondering what brush she uses to apply the foundation, it is the Zoeva 105 brush. It's just a brush to make sure that your foundation goes on full coverage and I absolutely love that one. So 
so my first step in um, correcting my super orange foundation is to overcompensate with my contour color. You guys know that I'm always using a just heavy or darker shade for my contour anyway so that I can look super draggish. But this is also a way to help fix my wrong shade in whatever foundation that I have. So the second thing that I like to do is use a too light highlighter. This one isn't overly light, but I still like to use this one because it is slightly neutral as well to kind of combat all the redness in the um, foundation. So use a too light highlighter. And I'm also making sure that I go into all of the areas where, you know, I would want to highlight it as well as underneath my contours on my cheekbones because there is still so much redness all around and still want to um, combat that redness. Okay, we'll get back to correcting the foundation in just a second, but I'm going to go ahead and contour my nose using the Fenty Beauty Mastic in the shade Truffle. This is just a really, really neutral contour shade. So now I'm going to take my RCMA No Color Powder and I'm just going to set all of my areas where I highlighted at. And then I'm also going to just go ahead and apply a small layer to the rest of my face. So now I'm going to take um, Black Radiance Foundation Powder in the shade Warm Hazelnut. I'm going to use that to contour my nose using a 785 brush.
Now back to color correcting your foundation. I'm gonna take this yellow Sasha Buttercup light powder from Sasha Cosmetics and I am going to um, take that over all of the areas where I highlighted it. And this is a little bit extra, but this is definitely going to um, combat the redness. As you know, yellow and red cancel out. So like I said, I do go a little heavy on this powder, but underneath my contours on my cheekbones, I take the RCMA powder because I don't want to leave that little line of demarcation um, over my face. And I did let it sit for about two minutes before I started to um, wipe it away. And make sure that you keep kind of blending at it just to make sure that everything is nice and smooth and married together. So you guys know the rest of my routine, it's nothing different. Now I'm gonna take both Cinnamon and Karab, both from Anastasia. They're both contour refills. Um, one is just to bronze my face, and I really shouldn't be bronzing my face since my face does have like quite a bit of redness, uh, or had a quite a bit of redness to it. But I still like the way that it looks whenever I do both. So cinnamon first and then carob to further contour or chisel out my cheekbones. And I did go heavy, like it was a little bit too heavy, but oh well. You guys know I'm like super dramatic anyways. So yeah, I'm taking that um, in the hollows of my cheeks and a little bit on my forehead. And whatever's left, I go across my um, jawline. Now I'm going to take Max Mirror Skin Finish and a big flat brush. This is one from Coastal Scents and I'm just applying that everywhere. So of course I don't want to look powdery all the way throughout the day. So I'm going to take my mattifying charcoal um, spray from Basha and just spritz that everywhere. Now I'm going to take Anastasia's That Glow Kit and the golden bronze shade mixed with a little bit of everything as you can tell. And I'm going to use that to highlight my cheekbones, my nose, on my chin, and everywhere where they can see me from the moon, you know? All right, so the second start of the show, which is this Rihanna Fenty Uncensored Liquid Lipstick. And for a short little review, guys, I did love this um, lipstick. It does transfer, so don't think it won't, because, yeah, it is going to. It's not a matte, matte lipstick. It is a semi-matte, and I think that's definitely what she said it was supposed to be. So it's definitely comfortable on your lips. 
it's just not um it's not transfer proof it's gonna it's gonna get everywhere and i do love the applicator i do love the fact that i did not have to reinsert to get more product like one coat is going to like just cover up your entire lips like for real for real so i do love it i just don't like the fact that it does slightly transfer but it is a true true red so if this video helped you guys out with um, fixing your red foundation, then make sure you hit that thumbs up button down below as well as subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next review or tutorial.